so hello everybody today we have a problem named as diameter of binary tree and let us see what the problem states given a binary tree you need to compute the length of the diameter of tree the diameter of a binary tree is the length of the longest path between any two nodes in a tree this path may or may not pass through the root okay so we have to find the diameter of a binary tree and as the name suggests we have to find the longest path between two nodes okay uh, like uh, you can take the example of circle the longest distance interior of the circle is the diameter okay so the longest distance in binary tree will also be treated as the diameter of binary tree and we can look at the example so in the example we are given a binary tree uh, here it is given so we can see that the answer to this problem is 3 which is the length of the path this is the longest path from 4 to 2 2 to 1 and 1 to 3 okay so the length of path between two nodes is represented by the number of edges between them so the number of edges between 4 and 3 is 3 so that is why the answer is 3 so how are we going to solve it so at first when you read the problem that what uh, what thought do we get in mind like if i tell you what i thought about uh, the solution approach what i firstly thought was that we find the height of the left subtree of the node and the right subtree of the node and add it okay so uh, according to me earlier that was the solution but it is not the correct approach okay there is one case also that we have to consider like if you are also thinking that uh, getting uh, counting the height of left subtree and right subtree and then adding them will give the answer so you will have to consider a case so let me explain how we are going to do it <coughs> okay so how we will be doing this question i have taken this uh, example on the right which was given to us in the problem and if you look at this problem if you calculate the height of left subtree it is one and two okay so height of left subtree is here 2 and if you calculate the height of right subtree it is 1 so if you calculate the left and right subtree and add it you will get 3 okay so in this case uh, the you know there is one case that is hiding in this example and that is why I have created this on the left okay what my point is there it is not at all necessary that the diameter must always pass through the given root node in this case it is passing the solution is passing through the root node that was given to us one but if you look at this case okay you calculate the height of left subtree of this node and right subtree okay if you calculate the uh, left sorry if you calculate the left subtree of the given node you will get uh, from here you can start 1 2 3 4 5 okay so the left subtree is 5 and the right subtree is 1 okay so if you add it you will get 6 but if you look at this node okay second node calculate the left and right subtree of this node okay left if i calculate the left subtree height of this node you will get one two and three okay height of left subtree is three and height of right subtree one two three four height of right subtree of this node is four okay so the distance comes out to be seven so this is the longest distance and this will be our diameter 
so this was the only case that was hiding in this question if you simply uh, calculate the height of left subtree and right subtree of the given row node you might not always get the right answer so you need to check the left subtree and right subtree of the root node also and you will have to take the maximum of it okay so in this case you will also have to consider this node but since it's left subtree and right subtree height are zero so it's zero so you will take what you will simply take you will take maximum of left uh, height of left subtree plus height of right subtree of the original load suppose this is the original load of the original load or the maximum of you can say left diameter and right diameter okay left diameter and right diameter okay from left diameter and right diameter i am only telling the case of this this uh, when the solution doesn't lie in the original root so it might be sounding a bit confusing right now but uh, things will be clear when we'll go into the coding part and also i have written this height calculating uh, recursive function over here this will be simply telling us the height of left subtree and right subtree for calculating the height of left subtree what we will pass in the root we will simply pass the root dot left in this and for right subtree we will simply pass root dot right in this root okay but some people will ask that if you are calculating the height of left subtree why in this return function you have written this maximum of height of root dot left or root dot right so according to them if i am calculating the height of left subtree then there must be only you know up till this there should not be any maximum there should only be one plus height of root dot left but that is not the case i will tell you why i am doing it this is because at every step i am calculating the i am calculating recursive calls of this like suppose if you uh, assume that there for calculating left subtree if uh, there would have been only this okay let me uh, do this suppose uh, just a minute okay so suppose only for uh, right now just consider that suppose for calculating the left subtree my recursive function is only up till this okay so what this function will do it will you know go for example this is our root node and we have written this formula so what this uh, function will do it will only go in the left to the left to the left and it will reach the last node it will not go on the right but sometimes the left subtree height is more on the right side okay so you need to see that in which side the height is maximum so that is why i it was written as maximum of height of root dot left comma height of root dot right so that is why uh, this formula is correct for calculating the height of the left subtree and right subtree and i hope this must i i explained it pretty well now let us jump on to the coding part now and see how things are done okay so we are start uh, we are starting coding now okay so let us write the code first of all if the root is null then we will simply return 0 okay up till now it is clear if the root given to us will be null then the height will be 0 okay so after that we will simply calculate the height of left subtree and right subtree okay that we have to calculate and height 
okay uh, i will make a function height that i have explained earlier also so that will calculate the left height similarly we will calculate right height for calculating right height we will simply pass the uh, right of the root okay now from here the left and right uh, subtree height will be we will uh, obtain this and after that we will have to you know check the left diameter and right diameter too i'll tell you what is this just a minute i'm just going to make a recursive call of this original function to here okay i will tell you why i am doing it uh, once i will pass uh, root dot left to here okay and also pass the sorry okay so why have i done this okay so the answer lies uh, in here so why i have i written uh, left diameter and right diameter is because uh, you uh, when we take this example for this node we were getting 6 but if we were considering its left subtree we were getting 6 so that recursive call was only that recursive call was only for calculating the height of left subtree and right subtree of its left tree and right tree okay so that was for the only case when the solution doesn't lie through the root node that is why we were making the recursive calls in order to get the maximum uh, uh, length so that is the only use of that recursive calls and i hope it solves your query now let's just jump on to the coding part again node okay that that was a, our only reason of passing and what i will return is simply mat dot max of either the either it will be maximum or i'll take maximum of the left diameter and right diameter okay so up till this yes i have explained and now after this we simply have to make the function for calculating the height okay so int height oops int height Okay, so this function will simply calculate the height of the respective subtrees of the root, and so uh, this was a complete solution. And let's run this code. Uh, let me check 
once more if root is equals to null we will return 0 then we have simply calculated the left and right subtree of the current root and after that this recursive call will shift the binary tree to its left subtree and then we will check the uh, subtrees of the left subtree and similarly we have calculated for the right and the answer will be maximum of all of it okay maximum of this and this so according to me it's correct now let's run this code Mm, there is some symbol error okay mat dot max of right diameter comma left diameter this cannot find return just a minute okay so here diameter spelling is wrong and now it's it looks fine okay so accepted and we'll just submit it now okay so accepted so basically all in this question was uh, that you it was not given that sometimes the answer can lie in the left subtree and right subtree of the given tree so you just need to know you know just uh, this recursive call you need to make this recursive call in order to check in the left subtree and right subtree also that was the only trick in this part so hope uh, you guys have learned something and see you in the next video